What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be bringing you the best build for NBA 2K22 on both next gen and current gen. If you guys are looking for a build that's going to allow you to dominate the game, look no further, you've come to the right place, smash that like button and let's get right into this action. Okay, so with the meta of next gen right now guys, you have to glitch your build out, okay? That's just how the game goes, so look. Shooting guard for the position, your hand does not matter, your jersey number does not matter. Now, this is what does matter. 6'3 for the height, 220 for the weight, and then a 6'10 wingspan, the body shape does not matter. This is just a placeholder, guys. This is in order to glitch the build out. Now, for those of you guys who have been following me for a long time, you guys know I'm not really big on glitch videos. I don't do glitches, it's not really in my thing. But this isn't really a glitch, guys. This is just 2K being lazy and not patching something that obviously needs to be patched. It's been in the game for a while. They're not going to patch it, so you guys might as well take advantage of it because other players are taking advantage of it and they're getting that advantage on you. If you're not having a build like this in your squad, then you are at a supreme disadvantage, okay? So look, we made the build. We're gonna edit the build and we're gonna back out, okay? From here, we're gonna get into the settings, okay? Straight into your settings, features, settings, and then boom, we're gonna go all the way down, units of measurement, we're gonna go to the metric system. Now the metric system, guys, it's been broken for years. It's becoming a lot more popular, but there are people like myself who have known about this for a long time, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna edit your build. You can rebirth it, that doesn't matter. Leave it as a shooting guard. Now what you're gonna do, go up slow, because sometimes it glitches out and you don't want it to glitch out. You're gonna go all the way to 2.05, okay? 2.05, for the height, the weight is totally up to you. Personally, I am a minimum weight kind of guy, okay? If you guys know me, you guys know I love speed. I think it is the most important thing in 2K, okay? So 85 kg, okay, it just sounds funny to say. You guys can easily get this build to have Hall of Fame rebound chaser if you up the weight, okay? As you guys can see, 99 defensive rebound. That's if you guys want it. I do have a version of that build, but for this version of the build, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the minimum weight because speed is something that a lot of you guys need. So boom, let's get right into why this build goes crazy. So look, 92 driving dunk, that is going to get you guys the elite contact dunks. And then we're gonna drop that layup to a 72. From here, you guys can easily go ahead and put your close shot at about an 80 or put it up even more than that. That is totally a preference thing. It's gonna go absolutely crazy either way. From here, mid range you don't have to have this all the way up but you want to have it to about right here at 78 because that's going to make sure that you guys have these silver blinders max out that three and put your free throw to about an 80 that way if you guys do decide to play rec center you won't miss any okay so boom from here 85 pass accuracy for gold bullet take your ball handling to a 75 and then max your speed with ball out now look here's where it starts getting freaky okay look at this 90 perimeter defense okay 90 steel that is insane guys 90 perimeter defense 90 steel we're gonna go ahead and go with an 80 block okay get that offensive rebound to about an 80 and then go ahead and max your defensive rebound out from here speed up acceleration up and then you guys are going to get your stamina up okay you don't have to go all the way to 99 what i like doing is i like going to 85 and i like getting my vertical max and boom look we have points left over okay so this is the template with these extra points you guys can do whatever you want to do with them make sure they fit your game now i know some people watching are going to go chalk why do you not have strength why do you not have interior defense i don't vibe with strength i don't vibe with interior defense guys you don't need them okay you're going to get your head mashed in regardless okay interior defense is broken whether it's 99 or not okay so 97 you guys can do it however you want to do it whatever works for you personally in this type of situation because i know how versatile i am i would probably put my finishing up to get a little bit more finishing and i put the shooting up and then you get a little bit of stamina left over so boom from here takeovers pick the one that fits your game depends on your role if you're not handling the ball you probably don't want to have play takeover if you're not guarding ball you probably don't want to have lock so pick the takeover that's going to fit you guys' game don't pick the takeover that a youtuber says is cool and as you guys can see we have built a two-way facilitator aka the best build in the game Shades of Manu Ginobili, Shades of Klay Thompson, Shades of Jalen Brown. Because this game is broken, okay? This is a 6'9 build, guys. But because this game is broken, it thinks that we're on a shooting guard. It's crazy. It's crazy what we can do with broken builds. Okay, now, guys, I just want to show you that you can do this exact same thing on current gen, okay? It may not work the exact same, but if you guys mess around on Google and you look up a unit of measurement calculator, you guys will see that you are able to glitch out heights and get builds that you would have never thought were possible. So my current gen gang, let's go ahead and get active, okay? So look, 
we're going to make a small forward build okay i'm the type of guy that wants to make a build that you guys can have so you can play in any situation no matter what version of your friends want to play or no matter who is inviting you in the park you guys are going to have a build that plays and now when you're making small forward builds you don't make them as small forward you either do shooting hard or power forward in this case we're going to do power forward the hand does not matter the jersey number does not matter now let's go ahead and get into what does matter and that's the pie chart guys there's so many different pie charts that you guys can choose from okay and it really boils down to who you are as a player and what you guys think needs to be done for me personally and how i like to play the game and the type of teammates that i would want to play with i would be playing with somebody that is the half red half green okay the reason for that being is i like somebody that can shoot and i like somebody that can defend okay that is the two most important things in the game so what i do off rip with all my builds on current gen for this type of position, okay, maybe not on a guard, but on this type of power forward position, it's how I'm gonna max my defense out. We're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. And then we're gonna get the mid range up, three point up, put the post fade up a little bit, okay? We're just gonna get some badges going, 16 shooting, perfect. All we need, okay? Now, now we can get into the nitty gritty of what we need on the other side of the ball, okay? So look, let's go ahead and get the important things out of the way. You need to be able to dunk when you're open, okay? Not necessarily a standing dunk, but a driving dunk. You need to make a decent amount of driving layups. So we'll get that to a 65. You need to make sure that you have your pass accuracy as high as possible. So we'll put that up. And then we have 30 points to play around with. Now, the badges on this type of build don't go crazy, but what a lot of people get lost in, and I already know how the comments are gonna go. They're gonna go, man, I made a build that's so much better, has so much more badges, guys. The badges are not everything, okay? What's more important than having a build that has seven finishing, 12 shooting, seven playmaking, and 15 defense is being good at what you need to be good at. And the problem is what a lot of people on this game do is they focus on trying to do too much and be too good at too many different things without being great at one thing. You need to be great at what you're great at, okay? You are a role player on this team. This is a great build. You can shoot the lights out and you can absolutely defend. In my opinion, this is the best way you can make a build. For the height, okay? I like 6'7", okay? You don't have to go 6'7", you could go 6'8", but I like 6'7", and I like being minimum weight, okay? Because you're gonna have it almost 90 speed with a maximum wingspan. This is the best current gen build for somebody that is looking to play three or four okay that three four position you could probably even play five with it okay if you guys had a glitchy guard that knew how to cook you could really play the five with it you have so many different takeover options to choose from and as you guys can see we have built a perimeter defender guys i'm telling you it is really a draymond green type build it's a plug and play build where you can do a little bit of everything and no matter what the squad needs you're going to be able to come through that is the end of today's video guys i hope that you enjoyed and if you did please smash that like button and if you're new sub to the channel guys i want to make content that you want to see so let me know in the comment section what type of videos you want to see moving forward and i will do my best to get them to you i do appreciate you guys for watching thank you so so much and as always it's your boy chalk stay tuned for more and i'm out peace